All right, here we are. June it's 7th. Friday. My gosh, it is moving so fast, but this is a big time of year for yeah, us. It, is. it flies by. But it's still fun to stop, and we're going to get the grill hot today. And mm-hmm. uh, it's, you know, Friday Night State Club coming at you from Grill Great HQ here. Anyway, well, we've got a winner, right? We've yeah, got our we've got first thing we got to do is always do the winners. Our third weekly winner, and his name is Michael Williams from Canton, Mississippi. All right. So, tell, tell him what he won, Vanna. Yeah. Yeah. Set of grill grates. A $100 shopping spree at Crow Cow. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. And a bottle of duck fat. Speaking of good stuff, a limited edition Yeti Rambler with the grill grate. Uh, Saturday night, or Friday night steak club. Friday night steak club and the SCA membership for Correct. the year. Yeah, so it's a nice set of weekly prizes. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the third of 13. So yep, third of 13. Three Ten weeks to go. In. It's amazing, though. It's summer's moving fast. Um, but we're excited because we've kind of got a fun day. We're right in the middle of Father's Day. You know, we've got the Father's Day sale in full gear. Full gear. Um, it's a tough time of year, but it's a fun time of year because mm-hmm. everybody's talking grills and gifts and dads and stuff. Yeah. So the Father's Day sale is in place. Um, but we wanted to kind of go over a couple little things before we get into the main event. We're going to be talking about Wagyu for Father's Day. Yes, we are. Uh, some crowd cow Wagyu. But before we do that, kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the SCA. Um, I would also have a, oh, shout out. Oh, my gosh, this is the most important thing of all. Yeah. In the last two weeks, 2,000 orders have gone out of the behind us over here. Then one of us, we built some boxes. Yeah. We've been doing a little. Everybody's help. been chipping in. But, but we're shorthanded. You know, Tammy's still having challenges and we're, you know, one for following the warehouses out. So our gang is working overtime, but we appreciate the business. They are kicking some butt. Yes. Thank you. And thank you to Susan and Gretchen and the gals. It's an all star team back there kicking ass. And we thank you for the business. So uh, 2,000 orders in 10 and two weeks is pretty impressive. Yeah. And, we're just getting started. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so thank you to our gang for doing what you're doing to make the back of the house run so well. Yeah, smooth. So, I mean, they've done a great job out back, but we're just getting started here. I know. Um, and why not just pile on? Mm-hmm. So uh, this was your guys' idea, and I like it. So here we go. We have uh, some inventory, and we're going to have a flash sale. Yep. We have not done this. We did it a long time ago. Though. Yeah, not to this degree. Nope. No coupon code necessary, right? Right. You're going to get either an email from us or you've just heard it here live. Mm-hmm. It's a landing page, so it's not going to be on the website. You're going to need to get it in an email or off social media. Right. And we'll be posting that in our feed here as we go. We'll get that landing page out there right away. Grillgrate.com forward slash flash. Look. <laughs> flash dash sale. Got it. <laughs> I guess. So, and it's four items. The bag, the temp and time, the tongs, the great gloves. Um, we're going to be using all those in a few minutes out there. Mm-hmm. Nothing more than this one. I love this item because, you know, you, by now, if you're not using a thermometer, shame on you and buy this. Yes. Even if you have a thermometer, you need this anyway because when you <laughs> close it, it's a timer. It's pretty darn cool. It's two tools in one, just like our grates are two tools in one. Yeah. Um, I have become hooked on this thing. It has saving. It's 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 also the, the tool for an ADD griller, which I must certainly am. I think so. Flash sale, four items, ends tomorrow at when, guys? 5 p.m. Saturday. Saturday. 5 p.m. tomorrow, sale's over. We have a limited number of these at 40 off. And, well, actually, everything is limited, but we've, we've got some of these in stock, and we would love them to be in your hands and not ours. Mm-hmm. It's a heck of a deal. It is a good deal, and it was a great idea on your part, so we're piling on to the warehouse. We'll have a feeling we'll be making boxes <laughs> this afternoon. Okay, so SCA moment, mm-hmm. right? So we the SCA points chase. That's right. Same one and two. Uh, Matt Overson from Minnesota is crisscrossing the United States, man. He's working it. Yeah, he's got a pretty good lead, too. So, Well, Terry Rowan, I wouldn't look over your shoulder. You've got last year's uh, state champion, uh, SCA world champion, and Terry Rowan, who was really hot. Now they start driving more and more and more. So the points chase is on. SCA is happening all over the country. I wish I could be in Chicago. I'd be with you, Steve Cross, at Wanamakers, if I could do that. Oh, that's going to be a great event. Yeah. Yeah, uh, It's so fun to see Chicagoland lighting up with this. But speaking of that, thank you to Ace Hardware for sponsoring. The, the points chase, right. it's a big deal. And the SCA is doing a great job. Their competitions continue to multiply around the country. Mm-hmm. Um, but we wanted to take a minute and kind of share what we just did the other Friday night. We had our own little steak cook off on the deck. Right. And, you know, we didn't have uh, SCA reps and we weren't judging it that way. No, it was kind of just like, you know, playing around a golf at your local country club. We weren't. No, but it was four. It was fun. PGA tour. So we had four grills going. We yep. had two pellets and two charcoal. Mm-hmm. Right. We had the Rectech Bullseye and the Yoder 640, mm-hmm. and the PK. That's right. The classic and the kettle. And the course. kettle. Yep. So and all the same fuels, B and B pellets yep. That's and, right. and charcoal. All had grill grates. Mm-hmm. All the same seasoning. Johnny's seasoning, right? That's and B and L. 
So we were kind of, it was just kind of putting all the grills on display, but nobody knew what we did is we all, we had what, three steaks per grill. Three steaks per grill. Yeah. One guy per grill, mm -hmm. although you had to help Don. Well, you know. <laughs> Don's over there shaking the Weber to try to make it run hotter. I'm like, Don, it's not hot enough. <laughs> but anyway, so the steaks all looked alike because they came off grill grates. And mm -hmm. only Susan knew, you know, because she had you bring them in. So, and we had little toothpicks by collar. Yep. And it was very simple. And all you had to do was pick one through four. None right. of this taste and tenderness stuff. Not the detail. One being the best. Right. And, you know, four being the bottom. And this is the second time we've done this. And the, the gang has a blast. So this is like having your own steak cook off. This is going to, we're going to write this up on our blog. It's so easy to do. But it was interesting. Then it's you just pick one through four. Um, statistically, the clear winner was was the Yoder. The Yoder six forty. Yeah, um, it beat charcoal grills and it beat the uh, the bullseye by a pretty good length. Healthy, because um, you picked the lowest score, and then it, then it was the the the, uh, the PK, the bullseye. No, I'm sorry, I had it backwards. The kettle actually was uh, third. You wanted to go to the lowest score, so the the, um, the PK was second, the kettle was third, and the bullseye was last. But those were statistically very close. So really, it was the Yoder and everybody else, mm -hmm. which means all you scientists out there, we have to do it again. <laughs> That's right. Because you have to verify your results. Mm -hmm. And what would we do differently? So we're going to actually try to slice them more this time so you can get a knife feel. We had so many pieces, I got in right. trouble. You, you kind of lose track of what's going on on your plate. So. Right. So we're going to kind of plate them for people, I think. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to do it again. So stay tuned out there. We're going to hopefully do it in Cartersville in the next couple of weeks. But I'm serious. This is something you should do at a dinner party. Absolutely. It's such a great way to have an evening of, with your friends. And, and if you don't have three or four grills, you got a pellet grill, Hakeem brings the pellet grill, you're going to bring your kettle, boom, be there an hour early, we'll get them all lined up, boom, there you go. Oh, there you go. I mean, so, a, a chimney and a grill grate, you can cook a good steak too. True, so. that is true. But we had 12 people, three steaks per grill, 12 steaks, we had a lot left over. Mm -hmm. So get yourself a gas grill, charcoal and pellet, and then you have a nice comparison. Yeah. All and your gassers, you can cheat. Use grill grates, put pellets in the valleys, and it's you man it like up. it came off the odor. Exactly. You <laughs> they would appreciate that. Yep. So anyway, steak cook-offs, hot all over the country, but you can do it on your own deck or your own backyard. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's a hell of a way to have a dinner party. We've done it twice, and we're going to do it again. It's pretty much guaranteed to have a good time. Yeah, it was fun. So And, and everybody enjoyed it. You get, and we talked a little bit about it while we were eating, but nobody lobbied because nobody knew what the steaks were. Right. So uh, anyway, a lot of fun. SCA. Compete or do it yourself. Either way, steak cook us. You don't need much. A hot grill, like you said, a chimney and grill grates can yeah, get you a, a beautiful steak. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of beautiful steaks, nice segue. Oh, yeah. All right. So, now we're talking Father's Day. So, we already had a little steak cook off idea for you when you want to entertain a bunch of couples. Now, let's talk about grilling for dad. That's right. Entertaining dad. Mm -hmm. And I, and if I'm choosing, I mean, what the hell? Let's buy some Wagyu and, and feed out dad. Big guns. Yeah, it's like buying some Johnny Blue for Father's mm -hmm. Day. That's right. So Wagyu and Johnny Blue, that's kind of <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, my head went over here. So we're going to talk with Crow Cow, and we're going to get into some detail. But before we get on the horn, we're actually going to jump on the phone with these guys that's and right. have a conversation with their chef and butcher. Um, Got to shout out Crow Cow because it's it's exciting. I, I've never bought Wagyu before I met Crow Cow. Mm -hmm. I've never been sourcing meat like this just from a farm or a ranch in Texas. But this is a little special. I think you're hooked. Oh, I'm hooked all right. In their emails, it's almost like Susan needs to put them so I don't see them because I'm always hitting the buy button. Yeah. But we do need to buy some more. Mm -hmm. But what we're cooking t today, some A5. A5. Wagyu top sirloins. From Japan. From Japan. And we're going to grill them a couple different ways. We're yep. going to discuss this with Chef Nick before mm -hmm. we do it. Yep. Um, but before we do that, we got to tell you, you've got to subscribe to Cow Crowd, Crowd Cow's email. The, it's not just steak. No, they've got salmon coming on. They had some Alaskan halibut, chicken, yep. pork, sausages. But you know the farm or the fishery or the boat. Yep. the product came from exactly. so it's it's kind of turning the the industrial beef market on its on its nose this is all about craft beef where it's raised how it's raised where it's sourced mm -hmm. um, it makes me feel good about it and I think that's what their slogan is know your farmer you know, have better meat exactly and we're gonna prove that I don't I won't think we'll meet this guy from Japan but we know it came from a, that's right. a farm in Japan we'll certainly thank him so that's really where we're headed and I think when you look at Father's Day I mean how much fun would it be to be buying some of this high-quality product mm -hmm. and grilling it for dad on Father's Day that's right still have time to order 
Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. CrowdCal.com. Jump out there. Uh, if you go forward slash grow rates, CrowdCal.com forward slash grow rates, you're going to save $25 on your first order, too. So a heck of a deal. Uh, we're good fans there. CrowdCal is our featured partner for the Friday Night State Club That's right. for the entire summer. Sign up if you haven't. That's we're, right. You know, get you some CrowdCal for free. $100 ship, uh, gift spree every Friday. Every week, yep. So we just had our third. Mm -hmm. So speaking of which, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's kind of take a break. Get on the horn, put the speakerphone here. Okay. Get Faith and Nick on the phone. Let's hear from them. And then yeah, we're I'm really go interested to hear his take on what we're going to be doing. I am too. I am too. We want to do the, we want to take good care of the, the Wagyu and do it right. But we also want to see if we can expand our horizons or on how to cook by a grill Wagyu. Mm -hmm. So uh, this will only be the second time. It's, so we're getting better at this. I think so. I'm excited. Look forward to talking to Nick and, mm -hmm. and Faith from Crowd Cow. Yeah. There he is. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick, how you doing? I'm Brad. Um, hey, Brad, sorry about that. I was uh, on a quick meeting. Uh, so glad to hear now. No um, problem. We're excited to have you here. I got Megan and Michael on this end. We want to uh, go live and, and grill some Wagyu. Uh, we have three of your A5 pieces here. And um, Wanted to have a dialogue. My chef Michael's on the phone, so as soon as he gets off, I'm gonna, I'd want him to be very front and center on this. We wanted to pick your brain. We wanted to be. We wanted to honor the the, the, the wagyu and grow it appropriately. Demonstrate the wagyu and encourage people to get on crowdcow.com and buy it for Father's Day and grill wagyu for Dad. So, that's our plan. Chef Mike meet Chef Nick. Hey, Chef Nick. Okay. Um, I was t just telling him about. I'm, I'm using myself as an example that I'm a novice when it comes to Wagyu. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know what to do with it. The only thing I've seen, though, which I'm allergic to as a griller, is slicing it into little pieces and putting it in. With the A5. With the A5. Not, not all the Wagyu. Right. So, is, but is that the common practice for A5 Wagyu is to slice it first and cook it second? Wagyu over the grill, and he, and here's here's where I think grill grits is like the the pinnacle, like the end all be all product to like actually uh, like allow wagyu to cook on the grill, and it's because of like the flare ups. Like there's so much fat, and it renders at such a low temperature that like you throw it over like an open flame, and you're gonna have you know a, a crispy crispy outside in, in a matter of seconds. You'll have a bonfire, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I think grill, I think grill grace is like literally the perfect product to like make this happen. So like you chose a great product, to like demonstrate how effective like grill grace are at like eliminating the flare ups. But um, so I would say like what we sell, like I, I'm not sure what cuts you got, but if you're talking like our steak cuts, like a strip or a rib or whatever, like I would cook those whole first and then slice them. You're, you're going to be able to, well, it's going to be a lot easier for whoever is actually grilling, you're going to be able to see some cool grill marks or you're going to get the crosshatch, be able to take pictures of that. And then you can get this really cool, like, these shots. I tend to slice, I don't know, around like a 20, like a 25 degree sort of on the bias slice. You get this really nice cross section mm -hmm. of that, like, really, like, nice, rare, uh, like, A5 Wagyu. You know, the fat, the fat is, is almost clear at, like, when it warms up. So, and then you build this kind of a nice crusty outside. You get kind of like that, the juice is running. So, so that's what I've done when I've cooked uh, this product for larger audiences in the past. It's a lot easier to cook it whole. And then I, I think it's a lot easier to, to manage the internal temp, too. Sure. Obviously, your little slices, it's like, you know, blink, flip it over, blink again, you're done. Right. Here, you can at least throw on the grill, say a couple things about it, talk about how, like, hey, look at the, look at these grill grades, or look how, look, look how it's managing flare-ups and, like, the fat rendering off of it while still aerosolizing the great flavor and, like, unique flavor of Wagyu back onto the steak. Um, and then by the time you're, like, done finishing that, you can probably flip it or turn it 90 degrees. Um, and then, you know, you, and you're, you're pretty much good to go. Um, so it's going to be the easiest, and I think the easiest way to sort of cook and then market you know, the, for the social you're going to be doing, um, I think you'd be most successful with that. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't grill these in slice. Dan, to answer your question. Okay, perfect. <laughs> well, and, and the first time we did it, the olive, right? We sliced it and yep. griddled it. You know, we make a griddle as well. Yeah. And you can cook yeah, on the flat side of our grade, so you've got sort of three ways to work with us. Yeah. And and your this is music to our ears too, because I, I you know agree with you. I don't want to 
slice and cook. I'm allergic to that thinking, right. just mm -hmm. like you're allergic to the grill. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm allergic to slicing and then cooking. So this is yeah. interesting, and I think Grill Greats does present an angle. Um, I'm going to send you, as soon as we hang up, I, I meant to do it beforehand. We lost track of time. I had some of these, what are these? Are top, top rounds. Top rounds. Top, top sirloins. I had some of your top sirloins, um, I think it was over Memorial Day weekend. Um, and I did just okay. that. I grilled them whole, one on the flat side, one on the grill. It, it was superb, and I have pictures of it sliced and whole and grilling. So I'm going to send you a, a few photos. Uh, we're going to be grilling it shortly. We're doing uh, this Friday afternoon. But anyway, well, I'm real excited to do this. So when you're, now Michael was telling me that he felt, I think he had the same allergic concern you do on like the, the Wagyu that you're marketing, that the, maybe a ribeye that's been sliced. Um, is that grillable in your mind or would you stay away from that? Yeah, no, with, with, with grill grades, I'm confident that anything, is, that anything is grillable. The only thing that I have concern about grilling Wagyu over an open flame, whether it's a gas or, or, or open you know, wood or some kind of natural fuel, is just flare-ups. Mm. And again, like your product completely eliminates that, so I would say go nuts. I, I gotta tell you, when, when we first got, when you guys sent us a couple samples of the product for our Traeger, I jacked our Traeger up to about 500 degrees and threw bacon right on the fridge, right on the grate, and was like, okay, like great, I'm expecting to like burn the building down. Like I literally <laughs> have, like, I'm looking at the fire extinguisher right here. Because I know what's going to happen. I've done it myself. Like, I've got a green egg. I can, like, do with a thought, like, you know, see, you know, the state of Washington was going to burn that weekend. But, oh, jeez. Um, you know, am amazingly enough, I told, I told, they said to me today, I want you to try this product out. And I was like, okay, like, cool, like another gimmicky for a great. I'm, I'm using this. I'm like, holy crap, like, this is a real deal. This is awesome. Like, this is, this is a real tool for, like, somebody who's looking to, like, accomplish something and, like, and do something very specific and still a great product coming off of, of the, the, their, whatever kind of cooker they've got. Um, so I think, I think this is great. I think Wagyu is a perfect, uh, any cut of Wagyu would be a, a perfect, um, sort of, you know, idea to show, you know, the effectiveness and, and grow great. And I, honestly, I hadn't even thought about flipping upside down using the, the flat surface of like the griddle. Um, that, that's genius. I'm actually, yeah, you gotta, I'm looking at you're going to see right that, uh, pr shortly. Right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah. be doing that when yeah, we hang no, up. I'm gonna go now, a couple things, Faith. I mean, we don't have a. I don't want to take a lot of your time today, Nick. But this is important, and I, I think we want to keep drilling down. Our customers are going to dig this. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the world's finest meat. Here's how you honor it. Here's how you can make it fantastic with grill grates. Um, so this is going to be our pitch with when we go outside here in a few minutes. Yep. But I think as we go forward, I mean, I would love to to put every, anybody who works for Crowd Cow Faith. I want to know what they're grilling on. I want to put grill grates in the hands of all of you Crowd Cow people. You know, for your backyard grills too, Nick. Um, now, you mentioned Traeger. You've got a huge opportunity here in the pellet world because there's really not open flame, right? When I did my first yeah. set of this A5, I did it on a Rectac pellet grill, and I had it at 700 degrees. And I'm going to send you those pictures when we hang up. Um, so I'm beginning to wonder, maybe we should, uh, we'll use the Weber tomorrow. I want to use the Weber gasser tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. Um, um, we've got 10 more weeks of our Friday Night Steak Club. You guys are our featured partner, if you will, this year. Um, you know, so we're trying to turn everybody on to Crowd Cow, and we're excited to that we're giving away a hundred dollar gift certificate every Friday. Mm -hmm. um, but we're looking for you too, and this is where I'll leave the call now, and then we're gonna kind of want to go cook. But I want to I want to uh, just leave you with a thought: What can we do to help? Where do where can Grow Great help you? What would you like to promote? Think about where we can help. Gee, I'd love Grow Great to do to do this, or I'd love them to cook this new coho that's coming in from from Alaska. And, and I'm not asking for freebies. Faith, just say, hey, Brad, this is what we'd love you to do next. Here's a link. Boom, I'll buy it. Because we are looking for content. We're well, looking crowd, for content. Crowd Cow does fish now. And yeah. a lot of people won't put fish on the grill without grill grates. And I don't mind Friday night so steak I'm excited night. excited about that salmon. A, yeah. yeah, we're going to be buying that. So, uh, but yeah, think about absolutely. where you want us to play and what kind of, of product you want us to feature and grill. If you're, if you're looking for tutorial, tutorials or how-tos or chef's yeah. tips. You know, I could see Michael and Nick doing a whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Nick, maybe you're on a grill at your place, and Michael's on a grill over here, and we're back and forth showcasing Crowd Cow products on Grill Grace. So, East Coast versus West Coast. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Nick, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but it would be fun to see kind of like the difference between like uh, lean ground beef all the way up to like the Wagyu ground beef um, in terms of like how it cooks and what it looks like. And it could be fun to kind of have that side by side. Sure, because Absolutely. I'm sure you have some super lean, and and what's nice is we play ball both ways. Lean's going to stick and it tends to dry, 
Grow Greats helps on both. And, and obviously the Wagyu is a fireball, you know. And, and we have loved buying your, your uh, those oh, were Wagyu sliders? smash burgers, right? Yeah. I mean, those the were. Sliders were amazing. Um, amazing. So um, we've, we've kind of already got that one. But we'll, we, we, you know, we, I, anything like that, Faith, we're happy to, because believe me, you, you never have to twist our arm to turn the grill on. You know, <laughs> and if we have a if we have a mission, it's even better. So right now, our our mission is Wagyu, mm -hmm. and Chef Nick, I'm excited. But seriously, if you need grates for anything for that Traeger, whatever you need from us, um, we want to have some fun. Hopefully, I'll get to meet you later this summer. We're trying to plan a West Coast swing now. Um, uh, Faith, we'll be back to you shortly, uh, and appreciate you hooking us up with Nick today. And we're just we're about to have some fun and go fire up the old. We have a 1991 Weber. We use a kind of an antique Weber in the office a lot, Nick. And we're going to go fire that thing up and kind of do phase two of this little production. What uh, what model are you guys grilling? Like, is it like is it a gas grill? It is a gas grill. Yeah. Um, it's a Weber Genesis 1991. So it's what twenty eight years twenty eight years old. It's it's like mid century modern. It's Candy a apple red. It's a beautiful freaking grill. Um, it's like a. Hey, it's, I'll, I'll tell you, they, they, they don't make grills like that anymore. Like even even Weber has makes a quality product. Like I think their stuff from like the the late eighties, early nineties. I used to have a gold touch or um, sorry, a mountain uh, the the summit series. And yep. um, yeah, they, they they just real you know their new ones are good, but like the the manufacturing quality and stuff of like those older Weber grills is like on par with like none. Absolutely, so, yeah. they're not made in Chicago anymore. But, right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's but we're still right. good friends with them, and they make a great grill, and it does make for great footage because it's it's yeah. such a cool looking old retro looking grill, mm -hmm. and, and it's that's what we're going to do. Grill grates yeah. like extend the life of those old grills because a lot of people think, oh, the grates are all rotted out, it's got to go, but you know they call and get a replacement set and. Still using it, still loving well, man, it. That's the, and, and that's the problem, too, is because, you know, the, with the old steel uh, grates, or even the cast iron grates, you still get drip through on, you know, Weber's flavorizer bars, and then those things rust, and then, you know, you're, you're looking at, like, a couple hundred dollar replacements for all this kind of stuff going through it. Yep. You know, it's just, again, it's like, y'all's product is great. I'm a, I'm a big believer, so I appreciate what y'all do. Well, we're just in the beginning of a summer of great giveaways, and, and you guys are a big part of that, and, and Faith, you're a big part of that, too. So thank you for this, guys, and we'll be back soon. But Faith, if you need anything in the meantime, it's Friday night uh, steak night here in Grow Great. So. <laughs> All right, well, thank you both. Nick, I look forward to meeting you and shaking your hand soon. Yes, sir. Talk to you later. All right, have a good one. Thank you both. Bye-bye. Well, that was fun. That huh? was fun. Yeah, I'm ready to go cook hey, some meat. Hey, Chef now. Nick. I mean, he did. I mean, I, I almost heard like an echo in the room. I know. <laughs> he was I saying know. the same things you were. Yep. Um, but it was also nice to hear him say, "I've been against grilling wagyu until I met you guys." Exactly. So yeah. that was a nice compliment. Yeah. And but I think it's important. So here we are. We're going to talk about buying wagyu from Crow Cow uh, for Dad, and yep. we're going to go show how to grill it. Mm -hmm. Three different ways. On the classic Weber Genesis uh, gas grill. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do this. Right. All right. Go fire her up. The fun time. I'll tell you, th listening to the crowd cow chef was really enlightening because he said exactly what you did. Yeah, very, very much the exact same thought. And what you also said, too, about cooking at home. And it was just... Yeah, I'm excited. But he was almost allergic to the word grill because it's flare-ups and flame. And, yep. Grill and, and wagyu. It's always been, you know, very, very difficult to figure out without just having a fireball. Well, know? it was important to check with our friends at crowd cow. And now that we've give, gotten the go-ahead here, here we yeah. are. So we have from Japan, A5, right? right? And what was it? The Kagoshima Farm. Kagoshima Farm. A5, Wagyu Top Sirloin Steak. These things are beautiful. And I'll tell you, that's a nice portion for one person. Yeah. I wouldn't want more than that, but I'm excited. So we're going to grill this three ways. Mm -hmm. We've got three different ways we're going to do it. Are we ready? We Michael? are ready to go. All yeah. Right. All right. So what we've got going on is we've got the griddle. Love this. We've got the grill grates rails up, and then we've got one of the panels flipped over. So we're going to do it in three different sections if you will. And I'm just on thermometer. Right, that's right. <laughs> so let me start. I just want to hit this a little bit of moisture before we get cooking. Yeah, we've had this whole, that's like an ice skating rink. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. All right. Get this guy off. Look at that. You even have your glove under there. Yeah. Look at that. All right. Wow. So we'll get the first one going over here on the flat side. Oh, yeah, baby. This baby over here on the rail. Beautiful. This one on the grill. Mm. You can already smell that. Wow. You really can. This is a lit up grill too, and you want to watch this. 
There's really no reason in that in a hot that situation to close the lid. Is there might No. I don't want it getting away from me. I think it smells too good. <laughs> well, and we're here to really observe. So, you know, crow cows, you can buy this today and have it in You can have Absolutely. this and not. So go to crowdcow.com uh, forward slash grill grates, actually, or use grill grates as a coupon code and save $25 on your first order. That's right. But order this for dad and grill him some Wagyu uh, and yourself for some That's Wagyu, right. too. Absolutely. Oh, man. So we got the tongs and we got the gloves out here. These are both in the flash sale we got going on right now. And let me tell you, people are taking They're advantage spanking. of that. Uh, we just put a flash sale out, what, about an hour ago? Yep. And this is really only to our best customers and our social friends. Mm -hmm. Picked four items, our, two of our best sellers. Temp and time. Temp and time. Gloves, song, and the bag, which is in the bag here. 40% off till tomorrow night. Till tomorrow at five, limited quantities. And Only like 100 said, of these, and I know a bunch of them. People are piling in already. So. so the flash sale was good. It was a good idea of you guys. And we have product and inventory, and I'd rather it be in Dad's hands than ours. Oh, just, that's impressive. Well, look at the sidebar on this when you come over here, Hakeem, and look at the look at the striations of the fat from this direction. Like that. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So you're letting the rails go a little longer. Yep. Interesting. The griddle's looking a little less hot. Yep. Than the than flat side. Than the flat side. Absolutely. That makes sense. I think we're distributing it more evenly and maybe more mass here. This stream will right up. Exactly. I'll be really curious to see what your rail size looks like. Um, I don't see a tremendous amount of rendering, though. Well, you've got some well, fat coming it's out It's starting there. to move here. Yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, I just put a light, light coating, and already we've got a good amount. But we're not going to cook these very long. We're going to go for just around there, maybe just a hair over to that. For you, what's that? that? We're going to go pull it up at one point. Okay. Yeah. Well, 125 is my normal pull. Right. So I don't, but I don't want to go over 120. And then you'll give them a little rest, I would imagine. Yeah, and then we'll slice them up. Oh, that's not too shabby. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, you want to hit the sides on that, too? Oh, well, you want to get a little more brown. Yeah, the, the sides are like, pretty used to the top. Yeah, I'm going to definitely see it on all sides. So, sure. but this would be a really good one-person size. So you mm -hmm. can, Absolutely. One person's meal, or if you had, you know, if you want to do it for an appetizer, you slice it up. Sort of a little, you know. Crostini or, you know, I don't know, some kind of cheese. Just eat it the way it is with some yeah. sea salt. In fact, that's all you really did. Just a little B&O, right? Right, a little boar's night out. That's it. It seems like B&O's the house seasoning anymore yeah, here. Yeah, well, great. And makes, Johnny's makes everything better. Steaks. Those guys have done a great job. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Look at that color. Oh, that's back. Look, Look at, at that. that. That is just gorgeous right there. My R, baby. Mmm. Oh, hey, look at that. That's even prettier. Uh, put some more surface area because this has got holes. I think it's going to cook at a very similar rate. Yeah, you're going to get it. It'll be really interesting to see how fast these go. I didn't really mark the time when we put them on, but it hasn't been very long. Well, Father's Day is coming fast. It is. That's next Sunday. It's, it's Where did you go? I know, we just, just finished May. But this is really a... You talk about Father's Day. If you want to get Dad, you know, this in the bottle of Johnny Blue, and you could, I put my feet up with a smile. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would be a happy dad if Will showed up at that. Yeah, yeah, I think my kids, if they haven't heard already, Johnny Blue is on my list. But anyway. Johnny Blue and Wagyu. <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice ring to it. Um, but no Johnny Blue here at the office. No. But anyway, Father's Day, I mean, I can't imagine a better gift, especially when you're outside grilling every time. I mean, I think I've had, this will be the third time I've had Wagyu. No one did. Um, and it's exciting. I mean, and it's it is a treat. And yeah. Oh wow. Come on. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Got a little twist. I'm up over here. So what a versatile setup we got going on here. One great flipped over, a couple rails up, the griddle. I mean, and it's one grill. And a 1991 at that. Exactly. It's like an over mid century modern. I love this grill. This it's is like a, a little muscle car. You this know? is probably one of the best grills we've ever, ever built. There's still millions of them out there. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of become the house grill here. You know, we got the PKs we roll out all the time, too. But this guy, just the versatility is hard to beat right now. It's, it's, 
you're not going to get this with any other type of grilling system. And we're kind of doing this what Nick said. Nick would be scared to death if this was a regular grilling. Oh, so gosh. Don't do it. Yeah, absolutely. We don't have do flames it. all over the place with this um, amount of fat. And I'm impressed that even with the lid open, we're not seeing one bit of a flare up. No. And usually you would, with the lid open, you would because of the added oxygen. Exactly. I mean, I'm waiting for some of this to drip through and go, go give it a little poop, but right, it's nothing. Oh, that's just too pretty. We're getting some snack crackle pop over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get them. And the sun came out to give you a little back right there. Look, look, at, look at it going on over here. It looks like a bratwurst spewing. Oh man, that's beautiful. I'll temp here in a minute. Yeah, now I'm yeah, it's starting to really render out here. I'm starting to really get hungry here. Yeah, it I smells know. amazing. I would say it's almost time for the temp and time. That's really impressive to watch that little the lights hitting that over here. Yeah, with a little firework. Sparkling. That's flavor. That and heat the flavor. Oh, look at that, my That's going to be beautiful. I think with Wagyu, you're allowed to gild. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Well, our Friday night steak club in week three. We've had three weeks of winners. Week two's winner was pretty cool. When he, when he was on Crowd Cow site when you were talking yeah, to him. Yeah, he was all excited. <laughs> he didn't know what he was getting into. But I think he was pleasantly surprised. So uh, that's every week, somebody could win a set of grill grates and then use your Crowd Cow mm -hmm. dollars to pick up some Wagyu. Yeah, we still got a little ways to go. What were we? No, 90s. Check it out. So how much time do you take? Another two minutes? At least. See, there you go. We have a timer. You know, a thermometer is just a thermometer until you add a timer to it. And the temp and time does just that. So every time we close the probe, a count-up timer starts. I use this every day I grill. I mean, a lot of times I'll start the grill and then put the timer on just to kind of keep an idea. I can never remember. I put it on at 11.15, 11.20. I'm like, when did I You're one of those type grillers. I just kind of wait until it's done. I don't really need to know <laughs> well, how I, long. I, well, my problem is I get distracted very easily. Right. Next thing you know, I'm refilling the scotch and I forgot the grill was on. <laughs> mm. Got the crowd cow cutting board going on mm -hmm. over here. Sure do. Crowdcow.com, folks. Sign up for their newsletter. It's probably some of the best newsletters I've seen in the world. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Food photographers are gonna even look at that. That's now that to me looks super beautiful, beautiful color. Well, my temp in time says it's been a minute and twenty-four. All right. This is kind of active grilling here. It is. You don't want to walk away from this. These are like little babies. They need lots of care. Yes. <laughs> well, they deserve the best of care, That's right? That's it, exactly. Yeah. So, all the way from Japan. And I'll tell you, you see they got the, the Copper River salmon was up today. I saw this. Is it up today? They well, I it. saw an email with uh, the founder of Crowd Cow was up there on the river. I want his job. He's all yeah, over the world. Exactly. He's been at this farm in Japan. Got it. I think it's going to stay. All right, so get some crowd cowboy goo for Father's Day. Treat your dad the way you want to be treated yourself. Tell him Brad sent you. Mm -hmm. You're a Scotch drinker. I have to Johnny Blue, and you've got a total experience here. I could actually see a little sampling like that. Mm -hmm. Just a little bottle of Johnny, a little thing of Johnny, Nip Dad, a little bag goo. Sure. Work. Exactly. All I'd need now would be on a boat with a bass rod in my hand, and I'd just be like, okay. <laughs> You know, that might have happened. Yeah. John Evans' lake is lighting up, supposedly, up the road. Oh. Did you get a little flare-up? There was a little bit of one. Shucks, I missed it. <laughs> but this old Weber, I'm telling you, it is as good as new. 28 years later, this thing is just... I mean, cars don't last 28 years. No, oh, it's driven regularly. It's got rid of one. A little over 20. Glad to be driving this weather. Yeah, it's, it's, and I, and I, I remember really wondering why the bars were, you know, it, it's no big deal. But they don't go vertically like this, no, not at all. Yeah, let's get a temp on this baby. It's been three minutes and 15 seconds since you left. Oh, yeah. 
we're ready. It's time? It's time. All right, one's off. That one's done too. Beautiful. Be interesting to see if this guy's a laggard. Might be a little behind the other a little two. Behind. Yeah. I would I would expect that. It'll be interesting to taste the difference, you know, in the flavoring between the two adders. So that the in the right order. So that one back side. That one's middle. Well, this wasn't any fun. No, not at all. And thank you, Chef Nick at Crowd Cow. We've, uh, we will be engaging more of you, my friend. Very impressive to talk to these guys. Yeah, um, he knew his stuff. It, it's, it's, it's great. And, and Faith has done such a great job with their social media and, you know, the influencer program. Cow Cows, they're here to stay. I think that you've got not just a great model. They're, they're bringing back the way beef used to be. Mm -hmm. Except we couldn't get beef in Japan. We'd be buying beef within 30 miles, not around the globe. Exactly. So, hats off to Crowd Cow. Buy Dad some Crowd Cow Wagyu for Father's Day. We're going to get a little preemptive uh, sampling here. Yes, we are. So, I have a question for you there, Chef Mike. If you were serving this as dinner, would you slice it for the guest, or would you put it, plate it whole and let them... More than likely, I would slice it, but this is so tender that I wouldn't have an issue with the guest wanting to, you know, cut it up themselves. So the SCA plastic knife test wouldn't be a problem here. No, I don't foresee it being an issue at all. All right, off we go. All right, here we are in the kitchen. We got the three steaks, three cutting boards. Got the sharpened gunther. We'll start here with the one that was cooked on the flat back side of the rails. Little bias I see you're doing here. Wow. Yeah, that looks unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Be interesting to see how they compare. There may be very little difference in them, you know, the same meat. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to do this one next. This was done on the griddle. This is the Gunter Wilhelm knife here. Wow, I, I'm, that's almost prettier. I think it was a little more of a gentle cook on the griddle. Yeah. I'm saying prettier from a the meat standpoint. Um, it'll be interesting to see if there's a noticeable texture or taste difference. Uh, and this guy, I expect this one to be the rarest of them all. No complaints from me. Ooh. But she ain't purple. No, she's not purple. Where'd you pull that one at? It was a little lower, but I mean, it looks like it's rested up nicely. Oh my. Okay. Should we bring these into the conference room, or do you just want to wrap it up yeah, here? let's just do it here. Okay. Well, happy Father's Day. Get your father some crowd cow wagyu or anything from crowd cow. It's a treat. We're about to have it. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. The, the Ford Morgan is already begging. Mm. Oh, God. Okay. I wish you guys could taste this. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to ruin you for Mm-hmm. Mm. The chew is unbelievable. I could chew that without teeth. The flavor, though. Mm. Mm. Thank oh. you, ranchers. Yes. We appreciate you. Thank you, crowd cow. <laughs> Happy Thank Father's you. Day. Yes. <laughs> Flash sale until tomorrow afternoon. Great dad. Forgot to mention great dad. Hashtag great dad. Mm -hmm. And that's our code for the uh, Father's Day sale. And we want to see some pictures. Last yeah, if you're year, out there this year with your your kids, your family, your grandfather, whoever. We got some fabulous photos last year. And we you know, will absolutely love to use anything we can do for us. Well, we love those father, son, family All right, around, around the grill. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to the other flat top. Uh, this was the griddle. 